Uh, what's it like having Trey back in the rotation and how does his skill set kind of specifically help you produce at the level you want to produce at? Uh, having Trey back is, is really nice. Uh, he's an aggressive driver. Uh, he can shoot the ball too. Uh, he's not shooting it how he, he can shoot it right now. Obviously, he's coming back from a wrist injury. So uh, just having him back to serve you in the ball, uh, driving a lane to kick it out, it really opens up the floor for everybody to have driving lanes, uh, drop offs, and things like that. Tyler. Hey, Race. I hope you're doing well. Um, early in your career, when you were dealing with a lot of injuries and not playing a whole lot, what was it like that to – um, try to get through that mentally when, when you're kind of constantly dealing with with injuries, not getting as much time as you want. And how do you kind of get through that mentally eventually? Uh, says before, you just got to keep pushing. Uh, days are going to be tougher than other days. Uh, but, uh, I mean, you see Trey, he pushed through. I mean, I talked to him a lot uh, coming back. I said, I've been there. Uh, just keep pushing. Your time will come. Uh, I mean, we know he's a great player. We know he's good on defense, on offense, on all that. So, I think just pushing through that mentally, I said it before, like I found a part of me that I didn't know was there, a tougher part of me uh, mentally. And I mean, you just got to keep pushing. You can't uh, uh, get down on yourself. And really, I just, like I said, you just got to keep on pushing. Mike Schumann. Yeah, hey, Race. Coach likes to use the expression that, that players think they play hard, but they can always play harder. Um, how, how much of a point of emphasis was that with him to your team between Penn State and Ohio State? And do you feel like you guys found something there? Uh, I think that we just came out with some more energy. Uh, I think that that's something we have to do day in and day out in practice and in games. we got to find that that energy no matter who we're playing, no matter what time the game's at. Uh, no matter what time practice is at, we just got to keep on finding that energy because when we play with that type of energy, that we're going to be hard to beat. Dustin. Hey, Race, what do you think uh, you guys, you and Jordan, I guess, did particularly well on, on EJ Liddell uh, on, on Thursday? And what are some things that, that you can learn from that? What do what you feel like you did well and what impressed you about what Jordan did when he was in there? I think that me and him talked about, talked about it and I think we just, we were, we were playing physical. Uh, not letting them feel uncomfortable, always kind of being on them, pushing them, not necessarily pushing them, but just putting some weight on them, uh, never letting them feel like, comfortable. So I think that we really just locked in and uh, guard, guarded him how we guard each other every day in practice. So, I mean, I think that pays off. Kevin. Yeah, Race, I'm just curious how your family kind of reacts to this game, you know, both being former Minnesota athletes. Uh, and uh, do you get any uh, ribbing in regards to that uh, in terms of uh, playing this team? And uh, just uh, it, how much did Minnesota recruit you compared to Indiana? Uh, Minnesota recruited me pretty hard. Uh, coming out of high school, uh, when I was in the transfer portal, uh, they recruited me pretty hard. So uh, this game to me is almost like a rivalry game, a little personal rivalry. I uh, never want to lose to the hometown team because I live only 15 minutes from campus. So, I mean, for everybody, I told them that we can't, like, I'm not, I don't want to lose this game. It's This one's a personal for me. So they know that. Um, and I think that we'll be ready to go when the uh, ball tips. Tom Brew. Race, good morning. Uh, you guys uh, have been uh, much better uh, with turnovers these last six, seven games compared to earlier in the year. I know it sort of became a point of emphasis, but what what uh, what's been going into those numbers being so much better lately? Uh, I think just really thinking about taking care of the ball. Uh, we know that on offense that we want to get shots up. If you don't get shots up, then you can't score. So um, I think that our guards have really keyed in on it. Uh, I think me and Trace have been doing a lot better with turnovers. Uh, and I think that, I mean, it's, it's one of our main things coming in and out of games, uh, take care of the ball and get shots. So that's the only way you score the balls. If you can get shots, if you turn the ball over, then uh, you're not getting the shots that you can get up. Mike Pegram. Hey, Race, and talking to Tamar uh, a couple weeks ago, he said that you were one of the guys he goes to a lot and has bonded well being from far from Indiana. What have you told him to, to kind of the last couple of weeks to kind of get back to where he was uh, uh, early in the season? Yeah. Uh, I mean, there's going to be ups and downs through the whole season. Uh, he's a confident kid. So uh, I think that him, I just told him, man, keep practicing, uh, keep putting extra work in. 
uh, again, you never know when your name's going to be called. So just stay ready. Uh, he's obviously not getting the playing time that everybody wants. Uh, but, I mean, he's getting the opportunity every game, and I think that if he comes in the game and makes the most of his opportunities, that he'll be perfectly fine and he'll keep getting more and more playing time. So, I mean, I just tell him that stay, uh, stay focused uh, and just keep on pushing. Thanks. Alex. Grace, looking at Minnesota's roster, they've got – I don't think they're going to have a single guy that plays tomorrow that played in the games against you guys last year. So it's, it's a little bit different of a prep. How has that been kind of trying to get to learn their personnel? And I wanted to ask you specifically about Jamison Battle because it seems like he plays the four a lot for them but likes to, you know, do some things in the mid-range and from the perimeter. What's that going to be like trying to guard him? Uh, he's definitely a tough cover. Uh, someone I've played against in the in the past in my high school days, so uh, I know his game a little bit, uh, and I I always I always watch Minnesota play, so I've seen them play. But I mean, it's definitely a different prep. Uh, we've never played against any of these guys really, so none of us have. So uh, different prep. Uh, they run some good stuff. I think we just got to keep locking in today in practice, uh, focusing on the scout, and uh, I think we'll be fine. Tyler. Yeah, Race, I just wanted to go back to when you mentioned that you kind of like found another gear mentally. I guess like, can you just explain that more as much as you can remember? Like how how you kind of, is there something that kind of like pushed you to um, just find another gear mentally or how, how did you kind of find that? Uh, I mean, it kind of just happened. Uh, I had a concussion. I was out for a long time. So uh, I, was, I, was a, I, was a, I was down about it. So, I mean, I'd come in here every day, uh, put in a conditioning, no, I couldn't really practice, so I was just put in some extra work. Um, and again, it's just like I wanted to play so bad um, here. I wanted to play. It'd been two years since I'd really played, so uh, I was really just pushing and pushing and pushing, and it wasn't happening. So I think I just, uh, just had to keep on pushing. And then finally, I got my number called. Uh, I think I made the most of the opportunity. And then again, I said, uh, "Keep making the most of your opportunities. You'll keep getting more and more playing time." And, um, I mean, it's working out. Mike Schumann. Yeah, Race, walk us through if you could. Like, what are you looking for when when Trace gets the ball in the post, and you know you're you're seeing if he's going to get doubled? Like, what keys are you looking for to know what you're going to do next? Uh, I mean, I'm look so if someone doubles. I'm looking to see who who goes to double. So if it's my man that goes to double, then uh, the backside is three on three on two. Uh, so I'm trying to either post up the other the other uh, player down there, so then it's a two on one on the on the skip pass or a dump off to me if I can get a good post up. Uh, and then if someone else goes, I'm really just trying to I'm really trying to occupy another man down there. And then depending on what move he makes, I'm going opposite the way he goes so that he has space to uh, operate. Last question, Kevin Brockway. Yeah, your your uh, inside scoring. I think it's seven of the last eight in double figures, and Penn State game with nine points. I'm just curious if the game is slowing down for you in terms of finishing around the rim, or what uh, what do you attribute the recent scoring to? Uh, I just think that goes into the work that uh, we've put in throughout the off seasons. And then again, yeah, the game's definitely slowed down for me in the time I've been here. Uh, but again, I think it just comes back to the work that you put in, uh, and uh, I think it's. Just like confidence, same with Coach Woodson and all the other coaches just pushing me to be more aggressive. And, I mean, that definitely gives me confidence to score the ball. So I think that all that comes into play.